Hello, everyone. We are back in Austin at South by Southwest. And right now, we have to take a moment to thank our fine sponsors like Hint Water, because because of them, we are here at the festival. We get to talk about movies like Good Boys. And I am so excited to see your movie. I just saw the Red Band trailer earlier today. And wow, this looks like uh, something else. Gene, I wanted to start with you on this because it's a very big deal to jump into your first feature, and I know you have a lot of experience in other capacities, but what was it about this particular story that made you say this was my one? Um, I It really, you know, Lee and I were looking to do something uh, that got us excited. We wanted to make a movie that we wanted to see and that actors in the movie couldn't see, so that combination was hard to come by. So, yeah, but we did it. Do you guys remember the first R-rated movie you ever saw? Um, mine was Caddyshack. I watched it with my father. Yeah. I don't that's know if amazing. your dad's here, but that's an A-plus choice for yeah. a first yeah. R-rated no, movie. Is, is yeah. Jaws R-rated? No, was it? Probably not from way back then, I imagine. Oh, no. that's a great movie. Was it R-rated back then? Because... I don't think so, but I don't know. I feel like if Poltergeist was rated PG, there's no way Jaws was rated right. R. Poltergeist yeah. was rated PG. Isn't that crazy? Really? Well, I yeah. think mine was, I'm sh I don't, probably, the worst one was probably Sausage Party. I oh, I watched that with you. I watched <laughs> that. No, it was Super Bad we watched together. Oh, was it? Yeah, I think so. Super Bad is what we watched together. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, can you guys tell me, and especially for our audience who doesn't know very much about this movie just yet, a little something about your characters and what's your favorite thing about them? My favorite thing about my character is probably how nice and sweet he is, but closer to the end, I, he starts like, you know, going through some stuff because his parents get a divorce. So he has another side after that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like my character because he's kind of the bad boy. And me and him are have some similarities and differences. Um, Brady is not allowed to curse at all. Like, at all. Like, I get punished. Like, I get my game taken away, like my PS4. Like, I get I get punished because we, we all had a rule kind of on set. What's set on set stays on set. So we all kind of just abide by that. But uh, me and Thor are pretty funny, too. So that's kind of <laughs> how we relate. What I like about my character is that He's kind of like, almost like he's he's the one that's like really growing up out of the three, and he's yeah. he's really love struck, so he's worrying about <laughs> girls and everything. And um, something that we have in common would probably be the, uh, if I'm being honest, that like the being love struck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's super sweet. What is it about a story like this that you guys thought needed to be told through younger eyes? Especially because I had just seen Booksmart. I'm a huge fan of Superbad. And it, you know, it doesn't feel like we've ever had this kind of story told from such a young perspective before. And that kind of excites me. <laughs> I mean, we, talked, we talked a lot about uh, our time in sixth grade and middle school and how awkward and confusing it is. And it's like you have a little bit of knowledge and you're starting to kind of grow up but you don't quite know everything and it's super awkward and awkward comedy uh, awkward and comedy work pretty well together yeah that's for sure um curious now for you guys what makes you feel the most awkward or uncomfortable is there anything that makes you think you know i don't know i'm like i'm not fitting in or i'm doing something <laughs> weird no if we if we ever felt uncomfortable we can't they were everyone was pretty open about it like we could say we, we're not comfortable and they just change it or reword something it's a good thing to have on yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like, yeah. Pretty much what Brady said. Um, if it's also, I would ask my mom about stuff, and if I didn't need to know what that was, um, I'd figure it out eventually when I'm older. But <laughs> if if it was something that she was fine with me knowing about, she would explain it to me, like what some bad words mean and what some things are used for. All right, <laughs> that pretty much explains it all. <laughs> My mind is going out of control based on what I saw in the trailer this morning. I, was, I, I uh, wasn't that uncomfortable, I don't think, I don't think on set. Confidence Well, not is good. that uncomfortable, but, oh, dang it, the mic. Okay, <laughs> well, not that uncomfortable, but, you know, you have 
things that you don't want to like talk about so you just got to be like mature about it and like ask questions later. Yeah, we were all very professional about it yeah. so I would believe it. Do you guys have any kind of movies that inspired your character at all, or movies that you thought of while you were working on this one? Um, uh, for me, probably Stand By Me. Yeah. Because they choice. kind of have like same relationship, but um, they both go on an adventure. But Stand By Me is more of a drama. Good Boys is like a big, big comedy where they're just doing stupid stuff the whole time. <laughs> Um, for me, I kind of related to uh, Superbad and Jonah Hill because he was most like my character, I think. And I would kind of watch like certain things he'd say. It. He would say it in like a sarcastic but straight tone. So I would always uh, watch him and how he acted, and I kind of took a took some stuff from him and I put it in here. I just realized something for the when we did the paintball scene where I was shooting people with paintballs. I actually watched the. Some of the fight scenes from The Matrix with Keanu Reeves when he when he has the guns. Oh, cool! Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. I I um I watched that. So if you when you watch that scene, you can tell like I'm harnessing um like Keanu. Uh, Keanu. Yeah, like <laughs> in in my facial expressions in the way I move. That's how I got ready for that scene. It's a good skill set to have if you're playing paintball. <laughs> mine was, I think mine was natural, but also kind of like. McLovin in the movie Superbad. Yeah. I don't know. Well, not all the way because McLovin was like, I don't know how we related, but I just felt like that my character was kind of like McLovin and He Superbad. was like the conscience of the group. Yeah. Because you know, he was um, like the weird, the nerd one, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a really big deal to have a movie like this hitting theaters, and you've got some really experienced people by your side here. Is there anybody that gave you a little bit of advice in terms of just getting ready for this big release? My mom. Probably my mom. <laughs> Probably um my mom, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, did, what did your moms tell you? Um, I remember my mom would always just say, stay humble, and uh, that's that's something that I, I really want to continue doing, and uh because I feel like if you're humble, that's that's where you're gonna excel the most at and get more jobs. For me, I think my mom gave me the advice: don't be sh afraid to swear, just go for it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> in movies like these, never too much. <laughs> oh yeah, I took that advice. <laughs> my mom gave me the advice that swear that I'm just swearing in the movie. It's not like. I, it's not like I'm swearing outside of my character. My character is swearing, not me. So basically, when I first started the audition, I just prayed about it afterwards. <laughs> That's what she told me to do. <laughs> I like pray. Pray that you don't say. I know every time I go in the or? audition room, I go in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys speak a little to the style of the movie? Because I know the immediate comparison is, oh, it's it's like a different version of Superbad, but what is it about this that kind of has that extra layer of style that people have never seen before? Um, stylistically, you know, I don't know. We always kind of thought of it as, uh, or at least early on, thought of it as a almost like a live-action South Park, you know? And um, that was kind of our model. And then when Seth and Evan and Point Grey came on, it... You know, we were huge fans of theirs, and it definitely elements of super bad seeped in. Um, but I think that I mean, this is just they're so they're closer in age to the South Park characters than they are to the, to the super bad characters. That's a genius comparison, like comparing it to a live action South Park, which I'm surprised I've never heard anybody at least tried to do that before. <laughs> it's almost like if you were to take this nice family movie about these three kids and just completely drench it with with a bunch of bad stuff pretty much yeah so i know in the movie you guys break your parents drone is that what happens yeah at a point? yeah we yeah, break parents, okay it, it ends up it, it ends up getting um stolen so the so we have to go fetch it i've actually never used the word fetch before i don't know why i just said that. <laughs> that's the only f word he has not used like i'm, like I'm canadian but not british <laughs> <laughs> Will you go fetch the drone for me? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> All right, I got the wrap-up sign, so I wanted to play a little game with you guys really quickly. Oh, I and love games. We are just calling it Collider Random Questions. They're just some fun questions that I'm sure everybody out there wants to know the answer to. First off, if you guys had your choice, uh -oh. what TV show would you want to guest star on? The Office. Riverdale. 
Probably The Office, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a good show. What do you collect? Fingernails. No, I'm Money. just kidding. No, I don't. <laughs> 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 wow. No, um. Money. <laughs> oh, did you say money? Yeah. Oh, dang it. Okay, money. I guess we're both going with money. No, I, yeah, I was I, kidding. I um, used to collect Pokemon cards when oh, I was, when yeah, I was that's younger. That's so cool. Are you excited for Detective Pikachu? It looks pretty fun. I yeah. think it looks awesome. I think I Ryan Pokemon. Reynolds did a good job. He's yeah. really funny. Cool. So I think he's going to do a good job in that movie. I'm pumped for that one. Yeah. Uh, what movie do you guys quote the most? Quote. Quote. Bohemian Rhapsody. What does quote mean? Like, say the lines yeah. of dialogue for the movie. Bohemian um. Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know definitely what I get told the most. It's from Sandlot, You're Killing Me, Smalls. I get told that we, a lot. Well, but have you ever seen, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday. There's one line in there that we always say. I forgot. Can you, can you tell me? It? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the we line. We can shout it out. Huh? Anyway, but anyway, <laughs> Friday. I was thinking you were gonna say Star I, Wars. I was well, actually, not really. I just quote. Hmm. Prob I quote a, a lot of different things. Uh, the room probably. The room, not room. <laughs> the room. We also requote what we've already said on Good Boys, like oh, yeah. all the time. Like uh, remember What's the paladin in one? your bank? Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah but there is yeah. a paladin. Oh yeah, the the blooper, the, the paladin. Oh right. When he yeah. stepped on, yeah. he's like, I don't know bad. I'm gonna be looking out for <laughs> this one now. <laughs> Do you guys own any movie or TV show props? Or Are have we? you stolen anything from set? Is basically what we're asking. <laughs> no. Um, I do have this fake box cutter from Predator, from the Predator. I do, I, I, do, I do have that. <laughs> um, I actually uh, stole my earring. Uh, the earring, I, I wore an earring in the movie and I got to keep it. I didn't steal it, but I got to keep it. So oh. that was cool and I brought it into school for a school project and they were like, why do you have an earring? And I was like, all right, let me explain. So I, I got an A on that project too. So was like <laughs> also from Room, I, I got this, I got like, you know how um, Jack gets this red truck mm -hmm. for his birthday? I got that, I actually got that red, red um, remote control truck. I have it in my room right now. That's cool. Uh, what is the background photo on your phones? My dog. Right now, it's, oh. Yes. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's the Queen logo. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I like that. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was one of my favorite movies of last year, so I'm all for that uh -huh. answer. Uh, to wrap it up on a little more serious note, what is the movie that got you guys interested in making movies? Or was it a specific performance, a director you admire, anything? Mine, actually, my first thing was uh, a commercial, and it was a New York Life commercial. And then I think after that, I kind of got recognized, so I was kind of going out for auditions, and... I booked a TV series called Boardwalk Empire, and I was on that for like four years, I think. And I played uh, Tommy Darmody, and it was a Scorsese um, director. You can call him Marty. Marty? Yeah. Marty? <laughs> 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 but uh, I just fell in love with it, and uh, it's been my passion ever since. It's awesome. I think just watching. Well, I also started off with commercials, too. So I think. I think we just started doing commercials just as a fun little fun little activity to do. But what what um got me into like doing movies is I I really enjoy movies. I watch them all the time. I think it's just just wa just watching like I'm trying to think of a, of a good example of a movie that I watch like Jaws. That's Jaws is an I important think. one. Jaws, yeah. yeah. Mine is my older brother. Probably. Do you guys watch movies together? <laughs> Well, no, that's the thing that, like, uh, got me into, like, you know, acting, my older brother. Didn't he do it first? Is that, yeah, he like, did so it So you first. followed in his yeah. foot. Yeah. That's super cool. Guys, I am so thankful that you guys came in today because I'm really excited for your movie. Good boys. Keep an eye out for it. Another thank you to Hint Water for letting this interview happen. So psyched to catch your movie. The trailer looks crazy. If you haven't watched it already, check it out online right now. Like and share this interview, and we will see you soon with more coverage from South by Southwest 2019.